When it comes to evil geniuses, the architects of the Holocaust generally top the list. But though their evilness is unquestionable, many people are unaware of the fact that these men were also among the world's smartest in several cases, making their actions all the more unforgivable. In this video, we'll be looking at three Nazis with the highest IQs, as tested before the Nuremberg Trials. Before we begin, a quick disclaimer. This list is ranking the most intelligent of the Nuremberg 21, not all Nazis in general, as that would be nearly impossible to get proper data for, and because the Nuremberg 21 underwent IQ tests before the trials. Almost all of these men were among Nazi Germany's worst war criminals, and their punishments reflect that. They were tried at Nuremberg for conspiring to commit a crime against peace, for committing crimes against peace, for war crimes, and for crimes against humanity. At number 3, we have Hermann Göring, with an IQ of 138. Göring was the highest ranking Nazi tried at Nuremberg, and had been second only to Hitler until he fell out of favour shortly before the fall of Berlin. He filled many roles in the Reich, including Reichsmarschall, commander of the Luftwaffe, original leader of the Gestapo, and the chief of the four-year plan. He was one of only six Nazi officials found guilty on all four counts at Nuremberg, and was sentenced to death for it. He ended up committing suicide the night before his execution. Up next, we have Arthur Zeiss Inquart, with an IQ of 141. Zeiss Inquart was instrumental in the Anschluss, the German takeover of Austria shortly before the start of the war, and served as the Chancellor of Austria briefly after the takeover. During the war, he served as the Reichskommissar of the Netherlands during their time under German occupation. He expressed repentance during the trials, but was still convicted of war crimes and crimes against peace and humanity. He was sentenced to death and hanged. And in our number one spot, we have Dr. Hjalmar Schacht with an IQ of 143. Unlike the others on this list, Schacht was never a member of the Nazi party, though he ultimately came to participate in Hitler's government, until he was dismissed due to internal disagreements. Before the war, he was the president of the Reichsbank, and the German Minister of Economics, though he was dismissed when the war began and was actually put into a concentration camp in 1944. When he was freed, he was nonetheless put on trial, which outraged him, but he was only charged on two counts and was fully acquitted of both. So that's the story of the smartest of the Nuremberg 21, those Nazis considered by the Allies to be among the greatest war criminals in Germany. Though men like Hitler, Himmler and Mengele escaped justice one way or another, these evil geniuses were at least made accountable for their actions. And as usual guys, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoy the content we produce, just a quick plug to our Patreon, be sure to donate if you can, it helps support the channel, increases production quality and hopefully production quantity as time goes by because as you guys will know many regular viewers will know our channel is completely blacklisted by youtube so let alone not getting revenue we don't get much advertisement on recommended or anything like that as well so by helping us increase the quality quantity we can essentially pump out videos for you guys without having to worry about what youtube cares about and what it doesn't and it obviously doesn't care too much about our niche World War II Nazi Japanese Vietnam content. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.